So it's been a long day today, driving, doing the final range testing for the G Wiz. Now I have some relatively good news here. I I started at so I've got a look at the mileage here. I started at two hundred and seven nine nine point two, I believe. No, two one eight three nine point two. Now I've just run it from fifty four point two volts down to fifty forty five volts which is within the parameters of what I aim to be driving um, within on a long range journey. Now this means that I have driven 148. Yes, that means I have driven one hundred um, 100 around 148 miles on a single charge now this is using 18 packs of uh, roughly 27 ah 48 volt batteries with recycled cells so these are already used cells so not brand new and this car essentially cost me most of the money is in the batteries so if you consider that and the charges, I paid around £6,000 for this car to be built with these cells. Now, any car on the market right now that you could do 150 miles on the range is, well, you're looking at about £14,000 upwards if you're lucky. £14,000 if you're lucky. So this project is definitely becoming a success. Now what I will do towards the end of this video is I will post a table which will show you how I've broken down the mileage and uh, I've done about I've done roughly 20 miles per journey and I've measured how many volts I've used and and where that voltage like so for example if I'm up at 54 down to 52, it shows you how many volts I used to do 20 something miles. Now what you can see in the table, which um, will follow this, the end of this video, is that towards the top end of the battery, there's less miles per volt. Um, it's roughly around 13 miles, roughly around 13 miles per volt average. Now as you get down to the 48 volts, I saw ranges of around 26 miles per volt and at one instance uh, between 47 to 46 I believe I actually attained 30 miles per volt which is quite remarkable so the overall range is 148 miles at a 30 mile an hour average is what this car is built to do anyway uh, if I was putting my foot down consistently on down hills etc I could be doing 40 45 but that's just like when you ride that's just like when you're driving a car that's only built to do I don't know a petrol car and you're putting your foot down uh, on a small engine and you're going to use a lot more fuel that way so it's the same same concept here if I put my foot down I'm going to be using a whole lot more amps just to maintain the speed because this car is only built for 30 to 40 uh, 40 tops so there we go, a G-Wiz with the capability to drive from here, for, well, from, well, easily from Northamptonshire down to the south coast in one journey. That's 125 miles straight down to the bottom. So that, that's everything I had ever hoped to build. Now, of course, the range is going to be a bit shorter once I have the sleeping pod trailer in tow, but I doubt it will be by much. I still reckon I could get 100 to 120 with towing the trailer because the weight of the trailer is a hundred and the weight of the trailer is less than a hundred kilos so I will not be I will not be any heavier than if this car had lead acid batteries because I saved about 120 kilos putting lithium in so we're all within the weight calculations 
which is kind of amazing. So there we go, this is doing short journeys around the area. The next step, which I might be doing next Sunday, is driving all the way up past Liverpool to a uh, to an electric car show where they've off where they wanted me to exhibit the car when it was finished. And so that might be my next challenge is to see how it fares in doing a straight journey. 145 miles. So I might actually make that journey on I might actually make that journey without having to put a charge in which would be which would be amazing. So let's say car is a success, a huge success. And it will suit most mostly everyone's daily needs without having to spend the six thousand pounds that I have to build the max capacity. You could probably build the same car for around three thousand pounds with um with only six to eight batteries, which would easily do you sixty five to eighty miles range. Uh, I mean I would say around that let's see. Um no I reckon I reckon you'd get around up to 50 miles, 50, 60 miles range with eight batteries. And that would give you an easy run around, um, quite a comfortable little run around for your local travels, free tax, no fuel cost, and it's upscaling what will probably likely become a classic in the next few years. And they're becoming fewer on the road. And these were one of the first electric cars to be out there. Um, they, used, they used to populate London when they first came out and, and yeah, they're, they're great if you're not driving on main roads, which, to be honest, these days I dis I quite dislike because of the fumes and when you're stuck in traffic and those fumes and or if you've got so many cars on the road, you can just smell the pollution. And uh, so I'll be sticking to country roads when I'm travelling, when I'm doing long distance. And believe it or not, the country roads, there is hardly any traffic on them. Even when the motorway is clogged up and you can only do 30 anyway, the country roads seem to be very, very clear. So, <laughs> bonus. So, as I say, the end of this video is now. So, following here, there will be a chart which will show you exactly how my range, uh, exactly how the range has been um, from 54.2 down to 40, down to 50 volts, um, 45 sorry 45 volts and and you'll see exactly where the amps were where the amps were concentrated in the battery and also how the battery performed all the way through from the high voltage down to the low voltage so yeah until next time <laughs>